Everything is not as it seems. Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. I'm your host Emily and today we'll be counting down our list of the top 10 disturbing discoveries made in seemingly normal places. Coming in at number 10 is the secret crematorium. In 1987 it was discovered that a ceramic place was secretly used as a crematorium, which is illegal by the way. How was it discovered? Well, a man called in to complain about the smell and said, don't tell me they're not burning bodies. I was at the ovens in Auschwitz. Yep, he survived being in a concentration camp and recognized the smell, which I can't even begin to imagine how traumatizing that would be. The firm Oscar Ceramics belonged to David Sconesy, who owned the Pasadena Crematorium, which closed after its roof was destroyed by fire. Oscar Ceramics was then closed by Hesperia Fire District officials after neighbors in the area claimed of a putrid odor coming from the building. Inside, officials found found two kilns that contained partially burned human remains, according to assistant fire chief Will Wentworth. They weren't totally cremated when we shut the kilns down and opened them up. The state attorney general office was investigating it, claiming the ceramics place has done nothing but cremate corpses, including 950 pounds of unidentified body parts from the August 31st Cretatoes air disaster since it opened. Yeah, that is horrifying. Number 9. Visitor in the Attic In 2012, a single mother of five named Tracy found a man living in her attic. She heard banging in her attic and thought it was an animal, but when she sent her older sons and nephew to check, they found a man that she had broken up with 12 years ago sleeping in her heating unit at her home in Rock Hill, Charlotte. Tracy said his addiction to drugs and offenses for robbery, including her own truck, meant that she was not interested in him, resulting in her breaking up with him a good 12 years ago. Talking about the night she discovered the man in her house, she said she had a feeling something wasn't right. Then she said she heard a thump coming from the ceiling and noticed things coming loose from the ceiling. She said, then all the nails just popped out of the ceiling over my bed like bing bing bing. I thought there was some poltergeist stuff going on. That's when she sent the men in her home to check out the attic. They found a man, he had packed all the old coats and jackets into the heating unit and was sleeping in the heating unit, she said, adding that the man ran downstairs and out of the house before police could get there. Officers said they found a number of sonic cups filled with feces and urine in the attic. Now the only entrance to the attic is inside the home in the hall that connects her son's and daughter's bedrooms. Yeah, if I found out that someone was living in my attic, I would freak out. I think I'd prefer it to be a ghost. <laughs> Number 8. Body in Freezer In 2015, a crew from the 36th District Court went inside Michelle Blair's apartment and began taking out the furniture when they found bodies in her deep freezer. Located in the living room, the freezer contained the bodies of her daughter and one of her sons. On being questioned of the crime, she said that they were turning into demons, so she decided to end their lives and that she would do it again. During the trial, she had many outbursts yelling F you and everybody wanted to know, yes I ended her life when speaking about her daughter. While she was in court, Michelle said, I don't care what anybody thinks, she had to go, period. Michelle was convicted of first degree homicide and sentenced to life imprisonment in June 2015. Currently, she is serving her sentence at the Huron Valley Correctional Facility in Pittsfield Township, Michigan. Now, as per reports, Michelle has accumulated around 28 misconducts by March 2017. Because of her conduct, she was then sentenced to an additional 38 months to five years. Number 7. Restaurant Front In 2019, five people were under arrest in connection with a ring run out of the back of the original Nancy Seafood and Oriental Market in Savannah, Georgia. According to law enforcement, the more was 4 pounds of a certain green plant you can smoke, 100 THC vape pens, a crystal substance, and cash. All of it was served up from the inside, shocking other business owners. Not something we'd expect, said Edwin Smith, owner of Crossroads Pawn and Sales. His store is right across the street from Nancy's. He said he didn't know drug sales, but he did know that the food was very popular. Now, The investigation into what was going on behind the counter started in Bullock County, where law enforcement thought drugs 
coming from Chatham County. The trail led right to the restaurant. In some cases, people were going to the very back of the restaurant, so the general public was not made aware, said Gene Harley, assistant director of Chatham Savannah Counter Narcotics Team. He says the investigation started and ended in a few days. The owner and family members were arrested, taking down a major part in a cross country drug ring. There were lots of people who were utilizing that solely to obtain their narcotics, so it was a distribution hub, Harley said. Number 6. School Fight Club A teacher in Florida has been arrested for allegedly organizing student fights in her classroom. Yep, a place where you're supposed to learn turned into a fighting ring. Angel Footman watched on from behind her desk as students of Griffin Middle School attacked each other senselessly and even asked them to not record the fight or attract attention by screaming. She has been slapped with four counts of contributing to the delinquency of a minor. Now, Angel has denied organizing fights, but acknowledged failing to report them. But footage released of these fights showed her laying down the rules of engagement, telling participants not to pull hair, and to limit their clashes to 30 seconds each, the outlet reported. Number 5. Campsite Seven and a half months after the Cowden family was reported missing in 1974, police found their bodies. The Cowdens had gone cam camping in the Siskiyou Mountains in Applegate, Oregon over Labor Day weekend in 1974, but failed to show up for dinner at Richard Cowden's mother's house on September 1st. The media accounts from the time described their campsite as undisturbed, as if the family left abruptly. Investigators later postulated that they had been abducted. Then, their bodies were discovered in April 1975 about 100 feet from the campsite. Richard's body was found tied to a tree, while the bodies of his wife, son, and daughter were found in a cave with rocks sealing the entrance. Dwayne Lee Little, a criminal serving two life sentences, allegedly confessed to a fellow inmate that he ended the lives of the Cowden's family while on parole, but there was no conviction and the case remains open. Number 4. Under the Bed Sometimes when you're young, you want your parents to check under your bed for something scary. While something evil under your bed is just an urban legend, this gruesome story actually happened to a couple from as far back as 1982. Now, there were three criminals in New Jersey who thought they had a good scam going. They'd steal cars and sell them, but two of the three got suspicious regarding the third, Gary Smith. Now, all three rented a motel room in New Bergen, New Jersey and ordered some food. The two men laced the unwitting Gary's burger with cyanide, and after a few bites, Gary began to succumb to the poison and died. Died. The pair then stuffed the dead man's corpse under the bed and left. It was found days later by the fourth couple who rented the room. His body was bloated and discolored after a few nights in between the mattress and the frame in a heated room. Number 3. Severed Feet British Columbia, Canada is home to one of the most gruesome and baffling discoveries within the past few decades. Since 2007, at least 16 severed human feet in running shoes have been found on its shore from Jedediah Island to Bonacle Beach. Although some of the feet have been identified, it is still unknown why the feet were detached and how they got in the sea. The latest solved case involving a human foot was completed in 2019, for a foot discovered in 2018. In September of that year, a left foot was found inside a blue sock and light grey Nike running shoe. The shoe and foot matched information police had in a missing person report from 2018. The family of that missing person was contacted and provided samples for DNA testing, which matched the DNA samples from the foot. Now, since then, there have been other feet found, as one was found in 2021 and one was found in July of this year. Now, if I came across a severed foot on a beach, I would absolutely freak out. Number 2. Mouse in Food Health and safety is really important in the food industry, but it seems like a subway in Lincoln City, Oregon didn't really care as customers may have unknowingly been eating spinach tainted by a dead rodent. Yep, you heard that right. Matt Jones, who discovered the dead animal and his friend Jay's sandwich, took a photo of it. His first reaction was to laugh because he was in utter disbelief about what was in front of him, but his friend on the other hand was obviously revolted at the sight. 
According to the staff of the establishment, Jay wanted some spinach on his sandwich. The employee who prepared the food scooped the last bit of spinach out of the batch and slapped it onto the sandwich. Now that scoop contained the rodent. This means that everyone who ate spinach from that batch came into contact with food contaminated by a dead animal. The state health department said that the episode didn't put anyone in danger of becoming sick, but it sure did make an impact on the business's name. Health inspectors had consulted with physicians about the circumstances and concluded that the risk of becoming sick would be very low. I would never eat there again if that happened to me. And coming at number one is The Dolls. Anatoly Moskvin is a Russian former journalist, college professor, and self-dubbed necropolis with expert knowledge of cemeteries. Now this man was a little strange as he loved collecting dolls. He had many and the figures had resembled antique dolls. Some wore knee-high boots, others had makeup on their faces, Anatoly had covered in fabric. He also had hidden their hands in fabric, except these were not dolls. They were mummified corpses of human girls. Yeah, real dead bodies. He was obsessed with digging up the dead and making dolls out of their corpses. After making his human dolls, he kept them in his home as his companions and lovers. I kissed her once, then again, then again, and I totally wrote about one of his dolls. Police finally caught up to him in 2011 after years of increasing suspicion at the growing number of desecrated graves in his home city. When the police arrived at his home, they found 26 life-size dolls, or rather mummified corpses, scattered throughout. When police moved one of the bodies, it played music as if on cue. Inside the chests of many of the dolls, Anatoly had embedded music boxes. Now there were also photographs and plaques taken off the gravestone, doll making manuals, and maps of local cemeteries strewn about the apartment. Now this is just overall extremely disturbing, I just can't. <laughs> Well, that's all for our list of the top 10 disturbing discoveries made in seemingly normal places. Now, which discovery do you think was the worst? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.